All right guys, so Webflow just did their 2022 keynotes and announcements for the new stuff they're gonna be making. So Webflow has been amazing, been a very big part of the work that I do and obviously all the content around here so far has been focused on Webflow. There are some new things that are just, man, Webflow is is really out here just trying to trying to take over and they're making some really, really big improvements. Kinda wanna go over some of them and I've also been able to use a lot of them in beta and haven't been able to talk about them yet, but now I can. So the first one here is Symbols to Components. Now this one here is uh, amazing. Now we've had symbols in the past and we've been able to use those, but it's gonna be a lot easier if I really just show you what I mean by this. Now typically, anytime you had a symbol, looking at my portfolio site here, anytime you had a symbol in the past, it was like, it had to be the same everywhere. And if you were to change anything, it was gonna be custom code that you were writing to do it. Now I don't have to anymore. So now let me show you what I mean. Now, typically I, I have this call to action here in my portfolio. And here we can go ahead and whenever I wanna use this note areas, I don't want the seven here. So let's go, let me see another page where I might have this call to action. Um, I believe I have it. Let's do it in the blog post template. Let's, um, okay well this is a uh, kind of outdated but that's fine okay so let's get rid of this this is old here this isn't even following client first anymore so let's go ahead and get rid of this let's go ahead and find my symbol so let's do um, cta i think that's what it's called yes perfect let's get this into position let's get it above the footer well none of this page is following client first so i, I need to redo that but and here, I again, it doesn't make sense to have this seven here. So what I'm gonna do is now select this item, the seven, too, and I have to click on it here because it's, it's the index is lower, but I just wanna click on visibility, say create, and then I can hit hit, right? And now in this case, it's dynamic. And I can change the text and everything too, but we'll go back to the home page. Now we're gonna see that my seven is still there. And so what you can do is start to use these, these components show and hide different things on different pages this is great for nav bars. I have another example, I've used it a ton on a bigger site doing breadcrumbs and everything. And that way you're not having to write custom code to kind of hide these things and you can actually have it be dynamic. That was another thing too, is that you can actually have CMS data inside these components. I don't have an example for that because I'm not really using that, but something you can do here too that you couldn't do in the past. Now here's the next one I'm really excited for, the dev link. Now, this one is actually not so much no code. Well, I take that back. So this one is actually gonna be amazing for the bigger projects where you're working with an actual developer. And I myself, I do not consider myself a developer. And this is allowing Webflow to, to create these components and then use them as React components, right? In JavaScript React. Now, for a lot of us, this may not be completely useful, but right now I'm working on an MVP where this is really needed. I'm working with the developers and we need to, eventually after this MVP's launch, I imagine this thing's gonna be working with React because it's using blockchain and everything. So now this is perfect. I can build the components here because I'm the UI UX designer and, this, and, and project lead on this one. And I'm developing in Webflow while the other guys are doing everything else in the back end. So right now the way this is working is I'm, I'm designing and developing this code so that way it takes some burden off of them since I can do this pretty quickly instead of Webflow and they're not having to manually code this stuff out. They can focus on all the functions, the back end, working with the blockchain and all that other good stuff. So now memberships is in open beta. So I'm pretty excited about that one. And I'm looking at another site here that I have. This is another company my, my wife and I do. And we do have subscriptions to the coffee stuff that we do. Right now we're using member stack. So now I'm kind of torn between, you know, wanting to use um, member stack version two or use this here. I haven't had much time to, to play around too much with the user beta, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit more with that uh, because I only got ac beta access to one of my sites, and it was my portfolio site, which unfortunately, I don't have an immediate need for users, so I haven't put a lot of effort to play around with it as much as I would have loved. So I'm gonna do that here and see what version we can kind of do when using mm -hmm. users and what might be better. Because it already is an e-commerce site, so I can already take payments using users. Um, but it is nice being able to have everything integrated natively with Webflow, not having to kind of go back and forth to other stuff, um, unless I start doing some things later on down the line. But I, I think this will probably be good enough. 
And now, of course, they've announced Logic a long time ago, and I've already made some Logic videos here, and so I won't kind of get into that, but they're just um, kind of announcing a little bit more uh, fun things about Logic and, and how they're planning on moving that forward, which really they didn't really say much. It is kind of recovered or went over some new things about Logic. Now, here's a new awesome one I'm really looking forward for, and the variable fonts. Now, I have been getting into using variable fonts with Adobe Illustrator, and I love using it. And now there's some other new fonts that I've kind of used, and I'm noticing that Google Fonts is updating theirs to include variable fonts. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this on the site. And that way I have more control over how I want the type to look. And we can create more seamless animations too. And it has some pretty cool demo stuff on there. I don't think this is out yet, um, but it's coming here pretty soon. Now some other new ones for agency owners is of course, agency freelancer guest role coming later this month um, for they have here on the site. Now I'm looking forward to this because I do work with other freelancers and there are other times where I will work with other agencies as well and they can invite me in. Like I'm actually working on a project, wrapping one up with a different agency. And um, now the rules can be a little bit tighter and you can also give specific access to sites. So it's pretty nice. Um, if I'm only working with one person on one site, I don't have to create a whole new workspace or um, let them see all the sites. I can just give them access to the single site, which they kind of go over right here. Now this one's awesome. So design in parallel with page branching. And so I'm currently looking forward to that because right now it's like only one person can kind of be in the designer at a time actually designing everyone else's kind of editors. And so now, and this is gonna be available to enterprise clients um, where we're gonna have more than one person working there at the same time, for sure, like a you know bigger company. And I can see this being something that we might need to use for the other MVP project um, after getting funded later. Now, lastly, this one's gonna be pretty exciting as well is the Webflow Marketplace. And so here, We'll be able to have apps, libraries, which they showcased as well, um, be able to find more templates, experts, and, and just a, a better thing overall for that Webflow community, essentially. But the, the Webflow apps are going to be pretty cool. So kind of like how we have probably apps with Shopify or be able to integrate with things. Um, now we can have, and, and people have already been building apps in the community for Webflow. Um, like FinSuite has like Noble, I work with CMS and Airtable. Uh, there's JetBoost, MemberStack obviously is building stuff on top. I mean, you have really big things like Wizd, which I'm using and I'm gonna be making a video on soon because I finally got access and I'm finishing building up a site. But all these things have already been created and now we're making a whole place for them where people have better access to create more. And the reason why they have better access to create more is because now with the Webflow developer page, it's got some really good love too. Now, this is something I use as well when I'm working with the Webflow API, um, having developed communication, working with the CMS, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm really, really excited that the, which I can go to the domain here, developers.webflow.com, that now the developer web page, much, much better. It's gotten a lot of love and, and they were, they talked about what they wanted to do with that. You know, the API docs are, are a lot nicer now. Um, getting in there, showing code snippets, uh, which actually the code snippets are pretty nice in the past, but you know, getting better at that for sure. Um, creating developer tools to build stuff faster, like, and they're giving you stuff to build an app as well. So they're, they're really trying to help the developer community with Webflow and it's pretty cool. They're giving this access to everyone. So I'm really, really excited for that. So Webflow is really on top of it. They're really really improving their product and it's grown a lot over the years and now i can't imagine doing anything or recommending any other platform unless it's a very very specific e-commerce scenario not using webflow and even then we can probably still do like a headless commerce you know with webflow so that was a quick run through some of the 2022 updates i'm going to make more content on them hopefully that's kind of getting you excited i'll dive deeper into these things as i kind of go along